Hey guys, welcome back. It's your cam girl expert. Last week, I showed you how to do your makeup so you can be cam ready. Now that you have that down and you're almost ready to start broadcasting and making some serious money, what's next? I want you to right now picture yourself in your room camming on your bed looking at your computer. I want you to imagine people coming into your chat room and you can't see them, but they start typing to you. Well, how are we gonna get those people in our free chat room to spend money on us? Well, during this episode, I will be touching on the main topics you will be dealing with day in and day out. But keep in mind, the rabbit hole runs a lot deeper. During this episode, we will be scratching the surface on key topics you need to know before getting started. First thing you want to do is check and make sure that everything is set up correctly. Internet connection is good and ready to go. Have appropriate lighting and put your camera at a comfortable angle. Post to your social media pages to let everyone know you're getting on. It will definitely come in handy to dedicate a bag that is filled with all the stuff that camming is going to require. People will be asking for stockings, underwear, toys, heels, lingerie, and many other things. Next, you'll want to set the tone for your room. Put some background music on, doesn't matter what kind of music it is, just make sure it's not too loud and it's comfortable for your guests. Now that you are all ready to begin broadcasting, you'll need to know who to talk to and how to talk to them. This is important. You guys need to know how to ask for tips in the right way. Without coming off sounding like you are desperately begging, or you're just a bitch that nobody wants to give the time of day to anyway. It's crucial to get this down in the beginning or else you'll be sitting there having people come into your room while you are overwhelmed with all this conversation going on around you. Next thing you know, it's an hour later and you've made no money and you're feeling discouraged. You guys, that's why I'm here. So we can make sure this does not happen to you. So how do we get members to take us private? This is the most important part of what we do. You must learn how to do this well. You always have to keep in mind that your goal is to get them from free chat to private. You have to remember that when you are sitting there that we do not talk for free. You have to talk with purpose. Before even attempting to ask a member if they want to go private, it is absolutely essential to find out what they like to do first. You want to greet every member as they come in and start talking to them one at a time as best as you can. After and only after you have found out their wants and desires should you ask them to go private. The goal here is to create a connection by being interested in what they like. Doing this well will get you in private every time. Don't let the conversation go more than three to five lines before you know whether or not they are going to go private, have money, or just sit and be what I like to call a silent watcher. If you know somebody is not gonna go private, that is when you immediately ignore them. This teaches them that if they want your attention, they're going to have to pay for it. You can always say, hey, I like chatting too. But if you want to chat more, let's go private where I can focus all of my attention on you and get to know you better. Those who really want to get to know you will pay. There are two different kinds of girls, the ones that pillow talk for free and the ones that are about their business and want to make money. It's important to decide which road you want to go down because they are both very different from each other. 
You will find yourself frustrated if you don't have strategies to guide members into private shows. It's either you are guiding them or they are guiding you. The strategies that I have developed will always keep you in the driver's seat and in control. Overall, members spend less time with you in private shows if you talk too much and give them what they want in free chat. Because what's the point for them to spend money for your attention in private if you're already giving it to them in free chat? The models who keep the chat to a minimum in free chat appear more mysterious, making the members desire them that much more. Remember, people tend to want what they cannot have. Your job is to make a strong connection with them in the beginning and then appear either less interested or more interested in them depending on if they're serious about a private show or if they're just wasting your time. You guys, inevitably, you will have an insecure guest come into your room saying rude things to you because they are having a bad day. You have the option to kick or ban these members. Kicking a guest or a member out of your room is temporary and banning is permanent. Remember, you are a professional. It is important when managing your free chat room to not take the things that members say personally. Use these situations as an opportunity to show other people in the room what you will or will not tolerate. We don't want to kick or ban members if there's a potential for us to make money from them. You'll get those time wasters in your room and they drive you crazy. They'll act like they're interested, try to hold a conversation with you, and when you ask them to go private, they'll never go. By watching these videos and learning camp success strategies, you're going to learn how to direct those time wasters into private shows and convert those wasted minutes into cash. Teasing a member in free chat is a good way to earn tips. You can also play games like truth or dare, dice games, or get tips for giving tasks and more. You shouldn't be doing anything before you get paid for it first in free chat. Constantly leave the member wanting more in free chat so they have no choice but to go private. Above all, remember to smile. Nobody is going to want to spend money on somebody who doesn't look happy and lively. Look engaged. Keep eye contact with the camera. Don't be distracted on your phone or watching TV. Be present, be flirty, and most of all, have fun. You guys, these strategies that we've covered during this episode only scratch the surface. These tips will give you the CAM basics so you can get up and running and making money immediately. Being that we only have a limited amount of time to go over these topics, I have developed a kick-ass CAM training that goes even further into detail on each of these topics covered in every episode. I literally show you step-by-step -step how to manage just about every situation you will ever encounter in your CAM room. If you are serious about learning more ways to make money, Message me here and we can work together to ensure your camp success. But for now, tune in next week where I will be inviting some guests onto the set to talk about our funniest camp stories. You won't want to miss it. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. See you next week. Bye.